I'm Heinz Walter Krosse and I'm the CEO of B. Brown Melsungen. Uh, that's a pharmaceutical company. And at the same time, I am the chairman of the German Initiative for Sub-Saharan in uh, Africa, and that's an initiative of the German industry organization and the Chamber of Commerce. And we try to promote uh, German business into Africa. Yeah. My name is Dieter Gemmer. I'm also with Biba Melsen and AG, Senior Vice President of Finance and Controlling for the group. And uh, additionally, I'm on the board of several of our subsidiaries uh, in Middle East Africa, for example, in Dubai and in Kenya. And I will be also acting as a non managing director at our new to be founded entity here in Ghana. My name is Petit Tangawai. I'm working with Biba Melsen and AG. Uh, actually, I'm back to West Africa and will be the one who will be leading the Ghana office. Yeah, my name is Pierre Masser. I am the senior vice president of sales for the region Middle East and Africa. And as Dieter uh, Gemmer, I am also in various boards of the African organizations, including Kenya, and also including non managing director of the New Brown Ghana Medical Group. Well, B. Braun is a company who is uh, active in the medical device industry. We supply hospitals with all kinds, 120,000 different products, from infusion solutions to uh, sutures uh, to surgical instruments and so on. And uh, we are family owned, we are 180 years old. Uh, and uh, in 2018, we had close to 7 billion euros in sales and we are worldwide 64,000 employees. Uh, and we basically produce all the products that we sell in our own factories and we also operate, for example, dialysis centers around the world that we treat uh, uh, more than 30,000 uh, patients. Uh, and uh, when it comes to Africa, we are here active for the last 50 years uh, throughout uh, all the different countries and we mainly operate by our dealers. Uh, since 25 years, we have our own organization in South Africa uh, and uh, we are now approximately 800 uh, employees in South Africa. We also produce uh, disinfection infusion solutions in South Africa. Uh, since uh, last year, we have an uh, infusion plant in Kenya, and uh, now we are in the process of starting our own organization in Ghana. Overall, we have like 130 million euros in sales throughout Africa, and uh, we want to expand this to 200 million by 2020. Well, we are in the legal process of establishing the company. We have announced the management of the company. Uh, and uh, uh, now in, in combination with the German-African Business Summit, now we officially opened our operation here. Well, it is not only Ghana alone. Uh, we want, uh, we see, if you look at Africa and if you look at Sub-Saharan Africa, we have East Africa, we have South Africa, and we have West Africa. And Ghana is supposed to be the hub for all of our West African operations. Uh, and the total sales uh, we have in this region, which will be then managed uh, through Ghana, is a volume of approximately 25 million euros. Uh, you know, the competition is something we have to do with and we do have our own strategy to tackle the market. We do not compromise on what is quality in our products. We know it's very difficult to face the other kind of quality of the product, but definitely we want to bring in the market the same standard of the product we are selling in Europe and US. And then we also know we're going to have competent physicians and doctors who are ready to offer high quality uh, healthcare to the population. This is something we're gonna, we are definitely going to do, and we're definitely going to work on it so that the market should be easily accessible for us as well. I think the problem that you're describing is well known to be around, 
and I'm not sure whether you are aware that in Europe just a few days ago a new legislation has become operated which really obliges manufacturers of pharmaceutical products to serialize the product. And via this serialization you can really trace the product from manufacturing till the final patient. Obviously not every country is yet ready to establish that, also in the local legal environment and therefore we are not yet sure to which extent we will be able to do that in Ghana immediately but from our side we are technically ready to try to find the fighting carbon products and that the region. Yeah, I think uh, regarding the regulation, Pierre has already mentioned a few topics. Um, the other topic is, and this you have to be aware, we are not now coming to Africa we have, are already there, we have been a long time, we have a long history in Africa, uh, not only in Ghana, but overall Africa. We have a long relationship with our dealers, a trustful relationship. We are uh, chasing projects to set together, um, either on the consumer side, but also on the investment side when it comes to dialysis business. So we are familiar with these things. And um, yes, we know of the situation of Ghana. On the other side, when I look, at Ghana and at the Ghanaian government, we think that a lot of things have been done rightfully in recent times. Um, the, the interest rate has stabilized. Uh, we have seen a growth rate last year of 8%. Uh, we see Ghana as one of the five fastest growing uh, societies in Africa. So we think this is a good country to stabilize uh, and to implement a regional office and to operate the region out of this If we will be successful to fulfill our goals. Uh, and uh, if you look at uh, B. Brown, uh, we always go in a continuous way that uh, we go from dealers to our own companies and then we start also manufacturing our products locally because this is what we also have as German industry. Uh, we have to see Africa not only as a marketplace where we want to sell, where we should sell our products, uh, we, are, we also have to take responsibility to bring value-added processes into the country uh, and to manufacture. And then, of course, it depends. Uh, now in Africa, we have 54 different markets uh, and uh, the decision uh, where we will expand in the future, of course, depends also on, on the economic situation. You made a progress here and uh, Ghana also is part of the Compact with Africa, which uh, is, an, is a program which comes out of the German government. Uh, so we see, and this is why we took the decision uh, to start the regional office here, a lot of progress uh, in, in Africa. And uh, then we go step by step to develop uh, our business uh, and to tackle really the issues, tackle competition. Uh, but we have a broad range of high quality uh, products uh, and uh, of course we are really ready to supply this into the African hospitals, into the African market. We, we, need, we have a, a development step during our installation in each country. And from the moment we start slowly, and we, we are going to increase based on the development of the market, like Professor Gross just said it, based on the opportunity on the market, then it will definitely increase. If you see in the other region as well, we start very slowly, and suddenly it picks up. Um, a legal entity in Kenya five years ago, and we also started small, and when I look at the development today, um, we have now recently acquired an infusion factory and uh, we are also widening our sales activities there in East Africa and by starting slow, after five years we are employing more than 150 people in Kenya and this could something be also possible for Ghana. Well, discussing B. Braun and uh, discussing a lot of these mid-sized companies in Germany if we move out into the world, if we now join and our activities in Africa, it's not uh, for the short-term profit and for the short-term gain. 
uh, we are always underway on a long-term approach. Uh, and this, of course, reflects that we are 180 years old. Uh, and uh, today, with 64,000 people basically active around the whole world. And uh, we continuously, we invest uh, uh, on a continuous basis into the progress and the innovation of our products. And, and the basis there is that we are not only selling the products that we are a partner of the hospitals to solve and have good solutions for infusion therapy, for safe infusion therapy. And that also goes for our Esculap division uh, where we sell surgical instruments, where we are a partner in the whole process of an operating theater, where we also sell the sutures, where we uh, do where we do instrument management. Uh, and I think this is uh, uh, always a long-term approach where we, where we are associated with our customers on a long-term basis.